Hello to all the tea lovers out there. How are you today? My name is Jules and I am one of the co-founders of The Conscious Cleanse, which is a 14-day online whole foods based cleanse that will teach you a sustainable way of eating for long-term vibrant health, which is what we all need now more than ever, right? So super excited to be a part of the Tea Spots virtual tea time, virtuality, right? And I'm going to share with you today one of my very personal favorites, which is a turmeric tonic latte. But first, a little bit of background. So Joe, my the co-founder, the other co-founder of the Conscious Cleanse, Joe and I met Maria and Jessica many, many years ago now, and we immediately fell in love with them, as as you do if you've met them, you know. And um, we, we both had the idea that wouldn't it just be amazing to create a, a detox tea line to complement the conscious cleanse, so the 14-day conscious cleanse, and, um, and again, something that people could carry with them into their, our 80-20 lifestyle program or 80-20 lifestyle plan, which is basically where we teach people how to integrate the routines the habits, the, the, uh, the, the tools and the tips, everything that we, we teach in the 14 day conscious cleanse, we teach you how to put that into your lifestyle and having a tea ritual goes right in line with that, both the cleanse of course, but also really living a vibrant lifestyle. So personally, I've been a big fan of herbal tonics for many years because you know, one of the things we talk about in the Conscious Cleanse is, is nutrient density and how you can get really the most nutrient bang for your buck, if you will, is to make sure that everything that you take in has a benefit, has an added benefit with very little waste or very little residue or any, you know, very little that the body has to contend with in a way that um, isn't life generating or vibrancy, um, you know, boosting, if you will. So the turmeric tonic, which you can see here, this is the turmeric tonic. You can see that. We'll put a link to this below. The, the turmeric tonic, it, we created this really with a couple things in mind. The detox was the foundation for all the teas, but this one specifically, we were thinking about inflammation. And we know that inflammation is at the root cause of all disease. So you might think, oh yeah, I have inflammation. I've got achy elbows or achy knees, or maybe you're dealing with arthritis or um, joint pain or back pain or muscle aches, but all of disease has a root cause of inflammation. So most of us can benefit from anything anti-inflammatory. So what we have and our turmeric tonic that is that is inflammation fighting, if you will, is ginger, of course the turmeric, and then the pepper. We have peppercorn in this to help the body absorb turmeric. And that's really key. If you're taking um, any turmeric, you always wanna make sure that you have black pepper with it because that's gonna aid in the absorption. So for inflammation, that was the, that was the, the key behind this tea. And then we also, are, are always wanting to, man, to manage our blood sugar. And managing blood sugar is really important for mood stabilization. It's really important for curbing appetite and, and cravings, which oftentimes can lead us into unhealthy choices. You know, if our blood sugar drops out, we're gonna grab the first thing that we can, shove it into our mouth without really thinking, oh, is this nutrient dense? You know, so we really want to maintain the blood sugar. And so the cinnamon, um, the fennel, we have cinnamon and fennel in here, which are great for, for balancing the blood sugar. And then there's also sarsaparilla and nettles. And again, the nettle leaf is key for detox. So if you love chai tea, this is one of the other things about this. We know so many people love their chai tea. In fact, back in the day, chai tea was how I broke my, my coffee habit. And I would get the stuff from Concentrate because it was delicious and it was easy. And little did I realize that it was loaded with sugar. 
And sugar is, is not a health generator. This is not something that's going to add to the brightness of your skin or the mental clarity or the energy or the mood stabilization that we're all after, right? So that had to go. And I realized that many years later, it served its purpose. But when you know better, you do better, right? So you upgrade. And this is a huge upgrade. Uh, we love chai tea. There's nothing against um, a whole leaf, of course, chai tea. The concentrates is specifically where you get into trouble. But um, you, if you love chai tea, you will love this. And I'm going to share with you what I put with, um, with the sachets here next. So I've got my water going. And one of the things that, uh, you know, again, I don't think that we people always talk about, but it, when you're using, when you're, when you're going to drink a really high quality tea, it's really important to start with good water and it needs to be filtered or spring water. And we're really lucky in the Boulder, Colorado area, we have access to El Dorado spring water. So that's what I put in my tea kettle. Um, the boil came down. So I'm going to just push that again. Um, I'm going to bring it up to a boil and that's, of course, it's, you know, it's on the package. You're going to bring it up to a boil. You're going to pour it in your, your, your mug, your mug of choice. And, and then you're going to steep it for six to seven minutes. And you can't really go wrong steeping it. I don't think tea spot ladies might say something different. They, they may, <laughs> um, but I like to get it nice and strong really because I like, I just like a really potent tea. Um, but so you're going to, you're going to pour the, your water in, let it steep six to seven minutes. And then to make this into just a delicious frothy treat, we turn it into a latte and I do this a couple ways. So the first thing that, um, that I like to put in my lattes is organic stevia. So you can see that here. This is sweet leaf organic stevia. And I don't like, there's a natural sweetness to this tea from the cinnamon. So I don't use a ton of this, but I'll just do like, just maybe, I don't know, just a little teeny tiny little sprinkle, like barely any, because you don't want to cover up the tea flavor. It's got so much flavor that you don't, you don't actually need the stevia, but that's a habit I'm in. And I like things sweet. It's true. I have a sweet tooth, which is also one of the benefits of these teas, um, especially this one with the herbs, the spiciness, um, so satiating, which is something, you know, I, whenever, you know, I like to have a tea in the morning, but I also like to have a tea typically after lunch. And for me, it's just a really good way to sort of, you know, put a, put an end cap to lunch. And, um, it's a great way to sort of satiate, uh, between dinner, before dinner, before, you know, that, that, um, late afternoon snack that I may have. So I'll put a tea in there typically in the afternoon, which is when I know you guys are going to be watching this. So I've got this steeping. The next thing that we're going to put in here um, and that I put in the latte is coconut oil. And you can, um, we'll link to a recipe for, uh, it's actually Maria was a guest blogger on the Conscious Cleanse and she gave us the original turmeric tonic latte recipe. Hers has just a regular coconut oil in it and flaxseed oil. Today what I have and what I've been using lately is the Bulletproof Brain Octane MCT oil. So if you haven't heard of MCT oil, it stands for medium chain triglycerides. And basically what this means is it's just, it's taking the most potent part of the coconut. So the most beneficial part of the coconut and using that to create the oil. And so this is really, really good for mental, um, mental stamina, really good for brain power. Um, it's really good for energy. And then it's also really good for keeping you satiated and again, fighting off those cravings. So this is like the, the craving one of, we have another one, but we're all about the cravings, um, all about fighting, fighting off cravings, which you can imagine if you're doing a cleanse, you know, there's things that you're used to having. Maybe it's a mocha latte, something that's loaded with sugar and you're used to getting that uh, sugary hit. 
uh, you need something that's gonna work, right? So this is gonna work. And so with the Brain Octane, it's super important that you start slowly. If you've never used this, they talk about, um, they talk about starting slowly. Um, so start with a teaspoon. You might work your way up to half a tablespoon. It's something to play with. You know, if you're really trying to curb your appetite or curb your cravings, you might need a little bit more. On the cleanse, you know, a lot of people, they will come to our program and they, they do so to get off sugar. And I'm talking about all natural sugars, right? And, and we have something called the low sugar plan. And making sure that you get enough healthy fat in your diet is a really, really powerful way to just slay those sugar cravings. And it's really important when you're, you know, when you're transitioning. After a few days, you won't have any cravings for sugar anymore. And it's really amazing. Um, then you might work your way to the lower amount of the oil. But if it's working for you and you feel like you're getting great energy and mental clarity, go to a tablespoon. That's great. There's nothing wrong with that at all. So I put this in the tea and I'm going to stir it up really well because you want the oil to really mix in and blend in. Um, it, it, it will... It, it should not separate if you give it a really good whirl, but you're gonna do that after you put in your homemade coconut milk. So this is one of my favorite things of all time. Homemade coconut milk is so easy to make. You know, I used to make almond milk all the time with the nut bag and multiple bowls and rinsing the blender. And, you know, for us, everything has to be sustainable. It's like the key to everything. If it's, if it's difficult, you're, you're more likely to let the habit go, right? So <laughs> cashew milk has been become one of those things that's just so easy. It, you know, it, it's easy to always have fresh milk, homemade cashew milk in the refrigerator because it's just so easy. It's even easier than going, going to the grocery store, especially right now in this day and age, and especially when you have small children, which you never want to do anyway. I don't anyway. I don't want to take my kids to the grocery store. So, um, so cashew milk, I'll link to the recipe for the cashew milk below as well, but super easy. Take a cup of cashews, soak them overnight in the morning, drain off the liquid in your blender or high speed blender, Vitamix, Blendtec, whatever you use, put four cups of water. Again, spring water, filtered water is best. Add your soaked cashews in there, blend it up. If you want to, if you like a, a flavored vanilla, I'll put in a little bit of mass Madagascar vanilla. You don't have to, you can keep it savory, um, but a little bit of vanilla, maybe a pinch of sea salt and boom, you've got, uh, you know, you've got four cups of homemade cashew milk. So what goes into the turmeric tonic latte is sort of up to you, but the way to make this really super frothy is to Blend this up in the Vitamix, blend your coconut milk in the Vitamix, that'll make it really frothy. And then you can pour it in and it'll, it'll stay nice and frothy. But, you know, again, you can put as much or as little as you like. If you really like that frothiness, uh, you might, and that creaminess, you might put a little bit more in. Um, but a little bit of milk, that uh, milk, the fat from the cashew milk combined with the brain octane, this gives you a really, really nice creamy, spicy, um, sweet treat. And I'm going to taste. Mm, amazing, 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 delicious. And so there you have it. I hope that this is helpful. And if you try this, leave a comment below. If you have any questions, please also leave a comment below and we'll be in touch and we'll be um, happy to get you any of the resources that you need, the links, we'll put those all below the video. Um, so thank you to the T-Spot for having me and we'll see you all next time. Take care, have a great day. Mm -hmm.